Hi everyone, I'm Valeria from the Data School Cohort 21 and in this video I'm going to show you how to add more context to your Tableau dashboard using hidden floating containers. There are various reasons why you might want to add more context to your dashboard. So for example, you might want to include instructions for your users or an explanation on how to read certain charts or just add some general background information. And one way to do this is by using floating containers. So here's a viz I created for one of the Makeover Monday challenges. What I'd like to do now is add a little pointer arrow that will tell the user to hover over the different bars to update the plum pudding chart. And to do that, I need to drag a floating container onto my dashboard. I will go into the objects and choose the floating option and I'll grab a container. And in this case, it doesn't matter if I use a horizontal or a vertical one. So I'm going to drop that container onto the dashboard. I'll open the options and I select the add show hide button option. Now I'll select the empty container again. I'll go into the layout and I'll reduce its size to one by one point. Now I'll change the X position to a thousand and that will move the container out of the dashboard. I still have the show hide button in the view, uh, so I can move it around and I can hit on its op options and edit the button. I'll choose a custom image and I need to do it for both when the item is shown and for when it's hidden. In the tooltip, I can add my instruction to the user. So I'll say, hover over each sector to update the chart. And I'll have to include the same text for when the item is shown. I'll hit OK and I can make the arrow a little bit bigger. And if I go into the presentation mode and hover over the button, I can see the instruction. So this method works well if you just want to include a brief instruction or a comment. Uh, but if you think that you need uh, to add a larger chunk of text or maybe an image or a table, you will need to make use of that floating container itself. So let's say I wanted to include a bit more information about the findings of the survey. So I'll start by dragging another floating container onto the dashboard. And then I'll go back into the objects, change to tiled and grab a text object and drop it inside that floating container. I'll paste in the text that I want to include and now it's just the formatting left. I'll double click the grabber to select the container and I'll change the background to uh, a different color and maybe reduce the opacity a little bit and I can also resize the container. And maybe make the text a little bit bigger and white. And I think I'll also include some inner padding on either side. And so the last thing I need to do here is to add that show hide button. So I'll need to double click on the grabber again to make sure we select the whole container, not just the text object. And go into the options and select add show hide button. For the button, I can choose another image. So I will choose this info button icon I created earlier. And again, I'll do that for both when it's shown and when it's hidden. And I'm not going to include any tooltip in this case. So I'll hit OK and make the info button a little bit bigger. And maybe I'll drag it into the into the top right corner. And that's it. If I go into the full screen mode, I can hit on the button to view the additional information or I can click it again to hide it. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident to add more context to your dashboards without making them look too busy. Check the description of this video for links to additional materials. And if you enjoy this video, you'll also love the tutorial by my colleague Priya, where she explains how to make your titles change dynamically. Hit the link on the screen to watch it next.